Hi, so today I want you to do these two questions because I'm going to do a video of the first one and not of the second one. So, both of these, the first thing you've got to figure out is where the elevation goes on the left and right, this arrow will tell you. If it was going more towards the left, we put this view on the left. Plan always goes underneath the elevation. And the order that we draw them is number one, number two, in the elevation is last. So I'm just going to do this on one page. If you can fit them on two, if you can fit two on one page, then great. You can save yourself a small amount of time. So it's on the left here, and the weight of it is 125 weight. I'm not going to write the measurements on this because you have them on a sheet. So the XY line, put this in heavy if you want, XY line is just in the middle of the page. So 125. That's 125 wide. The height is 75. 75 up. Like this. So go back to my joint. 125, 75, and the 75 is made up of 25, 25, and 25. And then this comes 25 and 25. So just 25 here. 50. And then these across. So up 25, up 25. This is in 25 from this line, in another 25 from this line, and then another 25 from this line. I'm just going to create a grade out of this. From this grade, then you figure out what's going on. So if I'm looking at this, I see this white shape, white shape, which I've got the sort of lines drawn on it. So you can sort of see them drawn, hopefully, where it is. That goes here. Let's go across. So I, I tend to draw the horizontal lines together, draw the vertical lines together. It just makes it a bit easier. That means I'm not going back and forward with my set squares, T squares. So I'm just sliding it along. It's the quickest way to do it. So this is my elevation. The plan is projected underneath that. So we bring every single measurement that we have down. So we don't have to measure them twice. So below on the plan here, we just have the one measurement to put in. So the first line we put anywhere. There, I've got a bit too far on that. Look, I'm going to leave this. So we have used up all these measurements here. We've used up all these measurements here. We haven't used up these measurements here. So this is across. So 25, 25, and 25. So from this line, and I'm going to just bring them across all the way. You can figure out what's going on in a minute. So for the plan, I'll zoom out a second, 60 setting. For the plan, it's going to be, I'm going to see the red shapes looking down on top of it. So if I look on my drawing here, so the red shape on this, this bit here, and this, that's that. This bit in here is this line here. So that is that, and there's a small square here and a small square on this one. So those two squares are going to be here and here for your plan. Like this. So the next thing now is a line from this corner here at 45 degrees. I'm going to put it in red right just so it stands out. This corner at 45 degrees coming down. I bring my measurements from the plan over to it. So the lines that I put in 25 and 25. So where they meet the red line at these four dots, I bring them straight up. Doesn't matter how far you bring them, but try and keep these lines nice, nice and light. So it's a heavy, it's hard to see the grid. We bring the heights from the Elevation across, we build up a grid. So we've got a grid here. Most of the marks are for, let's wait the focus clicks back in there a second. Most of the marks are for, for actually setting this up. You'll get the majority of the marks, probably 75% of the marks, for this view without actually knowing what it looks like. Just by the setup of it. So it's going to look like the grey lines looking in this direction. So a grey square, grey square, and this shape behind it. This is probably the hardest view. B is probably the hardest view to figure out what it looks like. I'm just going to draw it in heavy and then I'll explain where it is. 
So first of all, if I go over the back of it, so you know the back is heavy. I'll draw this and I'll explain what part this is. That big rectangle there, the fork is going to have, is for this part here at the back. There's a one which is slightly lower, which comes across here. You must remember for this view, it's like you're looking in this direction. It's like you're looking in this direction to get this. So that lip is going to be here. The top bit we'll see here, and these small bits we'll see down the bottom. So these small bits down the bottom are going to look like two squares. And I don't think there's any hidden leaf in this. So just to go over that again. This grey square is that grey square. That one is that one. This bit behind in here is here. This bit is, when we see over this wall, it's the top of it. So that's your elevation, your plan, and your end elevation. And make sure that they're, they're set up on that one. So answer this one and then have a go to the next one yourself after that.